Pat Mahomes is that guy. Pat Pat Mahomes is that guy. I'm gonna list some stats for you, Greg, and then I'm gonna ask you, where do you rank Pat Mahomes all time with quarterbacks? Because th- this man's resume is is Incredible. crazy. Incredible. Playoffs. Pat Mahomes is 14 and three right now, up to this point in playoff record. Peyton Manning has 14 wins his whole career. Brett Favre, 13 11 in his career in the playoffs. Drew Brees, 9 and 9 in the playoffs. Aaron Rodgers, 11 and 10 in the playoffs. Right now, Mahomes already top 10 in passing yards for playoffs, and he already is sixth right now in playoff passing touchdowns. Seven years in, in his career, only he's been playing for six. Where do you rank him amongst the all-time quarterbacks? I mean, <laughs> he's he's already, you know, at the very least at two. At the very least. I mean, I know that the Tom Brady, uh, you know, the truthers are going to be up in arms if I put him over to Tom Brady. Not that I care. Um, I, I think that, you know, Patrick Mahomes is the, the best quarterback I've ever seen in my entire life. I really believe that. I You know, and it, it's – the level of accomplishment so early in his career um, for him to have been in four of the last five Super Bowls and to potentially, to potentially, to potentially win three of the last five. And, you know, if he wins this one, he'll have three. That, that's remarkable. I mean, is there, and it's something that's going to continue. It's just, you know, this is the worst offense he's ever had. And he still makes plays when it timely plays. He makes the right play every time. His ability to – he is more cerebral than he's ever been in his entire career in terms of reading defenses. In that Ravens game, he just made the right choice over and over and over again. And it's so funny. It's like, you know, as, as a coach, you you tell you tell your team all the time, like, what's more demoralizing to a team than a great defensive team is a team that makes the right play offensively every single time. They make the right choice the right decision every time those things compound, it can just demoralize opponents. And so you add that to his arm talent already, and you know they're going to get him a bona fide number one at some point on the line again. They're going to get him another good wide receiver to play with, especially as Travis Kelsey ages and fades away. Um, it's scary how long this dynasty can continue. So for me, you know, when you factor in the multitude of ways that he can beat you, because obviously Tom was going to beat you with his mind and beat you with his his ability to throw the ball, obviously, to all parts of the field. He was an incredible passer, precision passer. Um, but you, when you factor in that, that Patrick Mahomes has that, that, those abilities and the ability to scramble and make plays with his feet and improv like nobody else you know, we've ever really seen, uh, you got to go with Pat Mahomes, and then the the ingenuity of the offense, like with Reed and what they do, and the lateral passes that they they put in their playbook, and just the the, the way he continues to evolve off offense. To have that at your disposal, to have a weapon like Patrick Mahomes at your disposal as a coach, you know they they can win for real. I mean, the next they can win seven of the next ten Super Bowls for real. And, he, and, and to, in my opinion, he doesn't have to win more Super Bowls than Tom Brady for him to be considered the best because he's already the best in my eye. He's the best quarterback I've ever seen. He's the GOAT, in my opinion, already, um, so regardless of Super Bowl number. I think that this guy is the best combination of pure skill, talent, and football IQ all in one, um, and also leadership, you know, like to, to pull this season out from where it was and to win in spite of the Taylor Swift uh, noise. To win in spite of the Taylor Swift noise is really, really impressive. And they're going to win the Super Bowl. So um, I got to go with the dad bod at that. With the, <laughs> with the dad bod, yeah, like to run around like that with that. He's a real Texas guy. You know, you got Canes there. You got Waterburger. Waterburger will get you a dab by. You be all right. I, I don't even blame him, bro. I don't even mad at him when I saw the, when I saw the, the, the picture on the NFL Films because the Waterburger is something different. Y'all don't know about Waterburger, bro. That it, It's different. It's different. <laughs> so so they got a lot of good food over there at his disposal. But in all seriousness, he's the best quarterback I've ever seen for all the reasons I've said. And you're going to post it. No, you're going to post it. And people are going to get upset. But if you guys listen to the podcast, I make a compelling read, argument as to why. I feel that way, and we'll see if people actually agree. If they, you know, if they hear it, if, they, if they're not lazy, we, we all know y'all are lazy. So, whatever. 